Hi, this is Christopher Bruza. Welcome back. And uh, we're here today to draw a winner for this shotgun as well as a couple other uh, pocket knives. Uh, thank you to everybody who watched videos or subscribes and watches my videos and everyone who entered. Um, just as a reminder, this is going to have to ship to an FFL um, for you to do the background check and transfer. Uh, continental United States. Um, even if you're in North Carolina, uh, I'm still going to insist on sending it to an FFL. Um, sorry about that, uh, but I'm trying to keep this per the rules of, of YouTube um, Gleam, which is the website I use to, to run the ad, and um, I linked to it through Instagram. I don't want to get kicked off any of those platforms, so I'm trying to do this correctly. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> in the first video, I hadn't shot this shotgun. Um, I recently shot it, and it shoots great. Um, cycles flawlessly, functions spectacular. Um, it, somebody is going to be getting a, a very nice shotgun. And I went over the changes in the original video you know comes with the blue force sling i put a little sling adapter up here um, put a tritium uh, bead sight on the front and i'll be including this uh, forend with rails on it if you choose to use that um, to mount the streamlight tlr1 hl uh, if you choose to mount it that way, and I came up with another option. Um, this is a Mesa Tactical uh, magazine clamp, I guess. Uh, sling stud on one side, and it fits great on here uh, with a rail. And you could also use this. I'll be including this. You could mount the flashlight on the rail there. That's probably how I would do it. Um, I mocked it up, and, and it feels good. Um, very easy to, to click that light on with your index finger. Um, obviously, it's reversible. Um, so you got that. Um, and uh, one thing I wanted to discuss with these shotguns, um, you'll see a silver piece up here. And it seems to be common with the Maverick 88s, and I've found several pictures online. I found uh, discussion forums talking about it. This um, tang, I guess I'm gonna call it the mounting tang for now. Uh, I don't know the proper term. But this tang, which is um, brazed, I'm guessing, onto the barrel. There is a screw here. So there's a captured threaded fastener here on the barrel tang, which engages a, a thread on the end of the magazine tube. This portion of the barrel fits in a recess inside of the receiver, and this gets tightened down uh, to clamp this tang to the end of the magazine tube to support the front of the barrel. There is a gap there on several. Uh, just looking on Gunbroker, uh, just about all the ones I saw, there's a visible gap. Um, so Mossberg says that's okay. Uh, I don't agree. So what I did was I had some shims made up, um, some precision shims. Uh, and the stock I could get uh, easily was 31 thousandths thick. Um, 31 thousandths of an inch. Uh, so you actually use two of them. Uh, but now you get complete mating of the tang. To the magazine clamp. And these washers I had made are out of 
304 stainless steel. I debated whether to go uh, with a carbon steel and blew it, but uh, that would rust. Um, I figured stainless was just easier. Um, and you aren't, there's not much preload on it, so, so I don't think the strength of stainless is going to compress that much and, and be of issue. Uh, the reason you don't want a gap there is threaded fasteners are generally used to induce a preload through stretching that fastener. Um, it's used to fasten two pieces of metal or, 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 or wood, whatever, together. Uh, it's generally used, you want a screw in tension. Um, sometimes they are used in shear, uh, which would be like trying to rip, you know, this up and that down. Shear, uh, that's okay. Uh, sometimes can be used in compression, very rarely, but generally it's to produce tension on a screwed or fastened joint. Uh, one thing you don't want happening is a screw to be in torsion. You don't want the screw doing this. Uh, that's extremely bad design practice. Um, and with a gap up here, your barrel is secured. So when you fire it, uh, your barrel is going to be moving. The front of your barrel is going to move. And with a gap there, that screw, I mean, I'm exaggerating, but that screw is going to be in torsion. Um, and that just seems like a very bad plan to me and in good conscience I couldn't send this off like that so I had the washers made uh, to fix a design flaw in the Maverick 88. I looked at a few 500, actually 590s, they did not have the gap. Uh, they made it up properly um, and I've found places where uh, Mossberg says it's it's acceptable, not in my opinion. Uh, so these little silver pieces up here, that's what they're there for. If you win this, go ahead, take them off. I don't care, but I provided you a fix. And uh, there it is. So perfectly well functioning shotgun. Um, I really like it. I'm sad. <laughs> I wish I could keep it, but uh, I appreciate everybody watching these. Uh, so we're going to pick six winners. Uh, the first five are going to be the runner-ups. Uh, they'll get these uh, Spartan Victorinox pocket, pocket knives. Um, and uh, and the grand prize winner get, gets the shotgun. Um, I have everybody's email, uh, so I will email the winners. Um, I'll put 500 subscriber in the, the subject line. Hopefully spam doesn't eat that up. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say your first name and initial and uh, where your IP address is located. Um, so check your spam box if, if you think you're potentially one of those winners. Uh, I've had... Um, issue with previous contests getting in contact with the winner so that's why I mention it uh, you can also contact me um, if you go to about if you go to my YouTube profile go to about you can uh, contact me there uh, if you can't get in touch with me um, or comment on this video uh, anyway I want to be able to get in touch with you so to my surprise we only had 20 entrants which um, <laughs> kind of made me laugh. I guess not many people want free shotguns. Um, let's see. Um, 500 subscriber giveaway. Six winners unpicked. So the first five are going to be runners up. Um, so we're going to draw five winners for the Victorinox Bantam. And I, I said Spartan Puck enough. It's a Bantam. Sorry, I get. The models sometimes mixed up. Do not allow repeat winners. Uh, we will allow repeat winner for the uh, grand prize. So you could potentially get both, because um, I'm sure most people entered this uh, to get the shotgun. <laughs> uh, so we're going to draw the winners. Drawing. Okay, I'm trying not to 
share too much personal info here. Okay, so of the pocket knife, we have Chad M with the last initial F um, from uh, Mount Holly, New Jersey. We have uh, Chris F um, from South Pasadena, California. I know who Chris is. I chat with him sometimes on Instagram. Uh, we have Nicholas Ryan I from Lexington, Virginia. Beautiful area. Justin S from Nashville, North Carolina. That I drive by there all the time. Um, and James S from USA. <laughs> uh, he must have his IP address hidden fairly well. Uh, so those are our uh, five winners for the pocket knife. Now let's go back and draw a winner. One winner. So for the Mossberg Maverick, allow repeat winners. So draw. So again, if you got the pocket knife, you can still get that. And for the Maverick. 88 shotgun Michael A uh, Michael A from Willowbrook Illinois uh, congratulations um, uh, got a nice Italian last name um, so I will be sending you an email to your Gmail account uh, as well as everybody else but uh, congratulations to Michael A um, thanks everybody um, I'm still amazed that people watch my videos and uh, that people subscribe and, and actually continue to watch my videos. So I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, we're doing another one of these for a thousand subscribers. Uh, so if you're on the fence for subscribing, subscribe. Uh, that one uh, is going to be a uh, six millimeter Creedmoor Ruger American with a uh, Vortex scope on it. Uh, I've shown that rifle before and I actually bought that to give it away, do some tests with it and give it away. So uh, I'll have another video up in a few days, uh, ballistic gel tests, very, very interesting results. Um, somewhat what I expected, but some su surprises in there. So I appreciate everybody watching and until next time, enjoy. Mm -hmm.